female. A woman who has embraced her leadership ambitions. She's talented, highly motivated, and self-confident. Her confidence is contagious, which leads others to respect her as an equal. If you're an alpha woman or aspire to be one and you want to know which fragrances I feel represent the alpha woman best, then just continue to watch. Guys, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Please make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you like my content. Leave me a comment so we can get to know each other. And now we can get started with the video. I've chosen 10 fragrances from my collection that I feel represent the alpha woman. An alpha woman lives with purpose. She's not afraid to be alone. She knows the importance of balance and she's also a risk taker. So guys, let's jump right in. And the first fragrance that we're going to talk about today is by Killian and it's Woman in Gold. Guys, this is a radiant fragrance. It's a dazzling fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. It fits the bill of an alpha woman, in my opinion, to the T. So there's bergamot, there's mandarin orange, there's aldehydes, there's vanilla absolute, rose, there's freesia, there's um, vanilla, there's Aki Wood, there's tonka bean, there's patchouli. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's citrusy, it's woody, it's super long lasting. I have no performance issues with this fragrance. I get compliments on this fragrance. This to me feels like a very powerful woman. She's a boss. She's definitely an alpha female. She commands the room when she walks in there. She gets her respect. That's woman in gold, guys. This is a very beautiful fragrance and fits the alpha woman to the T. The next fragrance on the list is Gris Charnel by BDK. Guys, when I did my BDK video a couple of months ago, I told you that this fragrance smells affluent, that it smells rich. When I smell this fragrance, <laughs> let me tell you who I think about. I think about Oprah Winfrey when I smell this fragrance. This smells like a fragrance that Oprah would wear. If I had to pair Oprah with a fragrance, it would be BDK Gris Charnel. It smells affluent. It smells like money. It smells rich. It smells like the woman who's wearing this commands attention and demands respect and she actually gets the respect. It's not a super loud beast mode fragrance. Like this woman right here, she doesn't have to announce her presence. Her presence is there. Her presence is felt. She walks into the room. She doesn't even have to say a word. Everyone knows who she is. Everyone knows about her. She's that confident that her fragrance does not have to speak for her. And that is what I get from Gris Charnel. It's a closer encounter to the skin type of fragrance. It's not, like I said, it's not like a loud beast mode fragrance, but it's also not a skin this scent. This fragrance will definitely wear a little bit closer to your skin, but when people come around you, they will definitely smell it. This smells earthy. It smells green. It smells fresh. It's a very, very beautiful scent. And I feel like it represents the alpha woman to a T. And some of the notes, there's fig. It opens up with fig. There's black tea. There's cardamom. There's iris. There's bourbon, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It is long lasting. It's not super long lasting. I'm not going to get like 10, 12 hours. Well, I don't. I don't get 12 hours on my skin with any BDK fragrance. But you're going to get a few hours on your skin, about five to six hours. Layer with an unscented body cream. Um, just to let the fragrance shine on its own because this is a very different scent. In my opinion, it's not a blind buy. It's definitely an attention-getting fragrance. You can wear this fragrance all year long. It's a very pretty scent. It can be unisex, but this smells amazing on a woman because, I mean, <laughs> it smells amazing on me. I absolutely love this, guys. Gris Charnel by BDK. And if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance, save 20% from purchasing on SoAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code, TheGreat20. You can also purchase samples if you don't feel like blind buying this fragrance because I don't suggest blind buying unless you're just a blind buyer. It's a different scent. It's not a scent that I feel like everyone is gonna smell and just absolutely love because when I first smelled this fragrance, I was like, it smells like dirt. I don't like it. But when it dried down on my skin, it dried down to something so beautiful and creamy and unisex and just different. And I loved it. And I loved how it felt when I wore it. Free Chanel by BDK, definitely a fragrance for an alpha female. Next, we have Zen by Nishani. Now, this is a fragrance I feel like an alpha woman would wear out on a date. I don't necessarily see this fragrance in the office. 
yeah, I don't necessarily see this fragrance in the office. It's definitely a special type of scent, but this is a fragrance that an alpha woman, like I said, will wear on a date or on a special occasion or out with her girls or just, actually, if she's an alpha woman, she can wear this to work. She would be wearing this whenever she felt like it because that's just what alpha women do. You wear whatever you want, whenever you want to. Um, it's, you know, it's your decision, it's your world. It's a different type of scent. It's not a safe blind buy. It's not one that you're gonna smell and just absolutely like fall in love and love it. Actually, I don't think any of these fragrances on this list today are safe blind buys. But the notes of this fragrance, there's black currant, there's rhubarb, there's grapefruit, there's Turkish rose, gardenia, sandalwood, vanilla, ambergris, and musk. And although there's rhubarb and rose and Turkish rose in here like um, Delina, this smells nothing like Delina. It smells nothing like Delina. Delina is definitely more feminine in my opinion. This can be unisex, but it smells amazing on a woman and it doesn't pull masculine on me. Zen by Nishane. Next up, we have Delina Exclusive. I wouldn't put Delina on an alpha woman list. Not that an alpha woman cannot wear Delina, but I just wouldn't put it on that list. Now the exclusive version is definitely an alpha woman type of scent. This has oud in it, it's woody, it's deeper, it's darker, it's more complex, but yet it's creamy and soft and still very pretty. Very long lasting, beast mode, an amazing fragrance. This is definitely a fall, winter type of fragrance. You can wear it all year round. You can wear anything all year round. But for me, this is a fall or summer nights type of fragrance. So there's lychee, pear, bergamot, Turkish rose, oud. There's incense, vanilla, amber, and woody notes. This is definitely a fragrance for an alpha female, guys. Delina Exclusive. And you can also purchase this from soavantgarde.com and save 20% on this fragrance if it's in stock, guys. Because when you guys found out about my 30% discount um, a month ago, you guys were buck wild and literally like broke the whole internet. <laughs> You broke so of my guard.com and so many of the fragrances were sold out, but they will restock and they are in the process of restocking and save 20% on so of on guard.com and get your whole life guys with Delina exclusive. Next up we have alien and guys typically when I see people with the alien bottle, it's the very small bottle. For me, I had to get this large bottle and I always get it refilled because this is a refillable bottle. I love this fragrance. It's also a for life fragrance. I don't really talk about it too much on this channel because I've had it for so many years. I mainly like to talk about the fragrances that I started wearing recently within the last couple of years. But this is a fragrance that I've been wearing for like six or seven years. So I don't really talk about it too much and I honestly don't wear it too much. I used to kill this fragrance. Literally, this used to be like my signature scent. I would wear this fragrance all the time around family friends co-workers like this was my fragrance i have the body cream to this which you don't even need to layer this fragrance guys if you're familiar with alien you know that this is a super long lasting fragrance although i'm an alien girl i'm an angel girl too a lot of people like to say they're an angel girl or an alien girl and but i'm both i'm the alien and the angel at the same time <laughs> So this is definitely a fragrance for an alpha female. This has Indian Jasmine Woods and White Amber. A common fragrance, popular fragrance. It's a designer fragrance that is a beast. Guys, this is so long lasting. I'm sure everyone knows about Alien at this point, but another fragrance that's not for everyone. If you've never tried this, definitely get your nose on it because like I said, it's not for everybody. I absolutely love it and it's definitely for the alpha female. Next, we have Mirage by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this is a spicy fragrance. It's a beast mode fragrance. This is projecting. I said it before in my Tiziana Terenzi video that this fragrance smells rich. It smells like money. It smells like Middle Eastern money, like oil money. Like that's money money. <laughs> That's what I get from this fragrance. This fragrance is no joke. This is for the alpha woman that's sitting at the head of the table. There's a meeting in San Francisco and from San Francisco, she's flying to Japan for another meeting. I absolutely love this fragrance. And that's the feeling I get when I wear a fragrance like this. This is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's not a blind buy. Um, it's yeah, it's definitely not a safe blind buy. You get samples of this. Order it from soavantgarde.com. Guys, there's neroli, rose, saffron, nutmeg, damask rose, vanilla, sandalwood, oud, and benzoin. On the soavantgarde.com website, there's a bunch of layering combinations of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. I haven't tried them out yet, but if you guys have a bunch of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances and you wanna, you know, layer and try them out, then these are layering combinations that are suggested by Tiziana Terenzi. So I'm actually gonna try one day, but if you guys have Mirage and other fragrances, then check out soavantgarde.com and just look at their layering combinations because this is a beast. This is definitely a beast. 
Mirage by Tiziana Terenzi. Our next fragrance is this spicy vanilla fragrance by Nishane Ani. Guys, this is so super sexy. And yes, the alpha woman is sexy. Confidence is sexy. Independence is sexy. Knowing where you want to be in life is sexy. Living with purpose is sexy. So I definitely had to put some sexy fragrances on this list. And Ani is definitely a sexy fragrance. This is vanilla and ginger, guys. Oh my goodness. It's such a beautiful, beautiful scent. There's ginger. There's bergamot, pink pepper, there's green notes, there's black currant, cardamom, there's Turkish rose, there's vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, there's patchouli, there's ambergris, there's musk. So beautiful, so long lasting. This is a beast. Compliment getter, leaving a scent trail, you're living in your beautiful scent bubble. This is a conversation starter, it's a show stopper. This is definitely a beautiful scent. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a year round fragrance. I'm definitely wearing this in the summertime, summer nights, summer date nights. Oh, she's getting warm. I'm not like waiting to wear her anytime because this scent is intoxicatingly beautiful and I need to smell it all the time. Ani by Nishane. Next up, we have Passion de l'Amour by the House of Siage. Another one of my holy grail fragrances, a for life fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. This was my first cupcake. It was a gift from Bay, and I cherish this with all my heart because I love it so. It's an exotic scent. It's voluptuous. It's full bodied. It's sumptuous. This is this fragrance is everything, guys. I absolutely love it. Now, this fragrance for me is a fall and a winter fragrance, but I definitely will try to wear it like summer nights because I love this scent and I don't want to have to wait to wear it. So in this fragrance, we have saffron, raspberry, caramel, amorous oil, oud, and Leatrix Absolute. Guys, this is a beautiful oud fragrance. It is kind of like a beginner-friendly oud, in my opinion, but you definitely smell the oud. But it's so soft and creamy and beautiful and sweet and sexy. This is definitely for that sexy alpha female. I can see her wearing this to work, to the office, pumping and strutting in this fragrance Guys, right here. You always try to find this fragrance at a discounted price on the House of Siage website. They're always running sales. And if you're following me on Instagram, then you would know that I always post things about sales. Whatever discounts I see for fragrances that I talk about on this channel, I don't only want you to use my discount code. You can use anyone's discount code because I just want you guys to get the fragrance if you actually really like it so house of siage passion de l'amour next up we have lancome's oud bouquet guys this is the epitome of an alpha woman this is a rich alpha woman right here like this fragrance is so beautiful i haven't smelled it in so long because i typically only wear this fragrance in the fall and the winter but I have to talk about it today for this alpha woman video. So there's saffron, rose, oud, vanilla, and pralines. Guys, this is so beautiful. Now I've heard, I've never smelled it, but I've heard it's very similar to Shagaf Oud. That is a fraction of the cost that, you know, you can purchase from Amazon. I've never tried that fragrance, but I'm just letting you guys know. But for me, Oud Bouquet is where it's at. It's super long lasting. This is a beast. No performance issues. You don't have to overspray. Um, you know, it's just a beautiful fragrance. It's for that boss chick, for that alpha woman, that confident woman, because you're definitely gonna be smelled when you're wearing this fragrance. And this can be a unisex scent as well. I can see this smelling really, really good on a man, but this is oh so, so, so sexy on a woman. Like, this is beautiful. I miss this fragrance. Oh, let me spray you. Mmm. Oh, I've missed you. This is, oh, this is so beautiful, guys. Oud Bouquet, definitely for an alpha female. Last but not least, we have Spirito Fiorentino by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, what can I say about this fragrance? I dedicated an entire video review of this fragrance about a few months ago, maybe last year, because this when I smelled this fragrance, guys, I was literally blown away. You guys know how much I love Baccarat Rouge by 40. That's one of my favorite fragrances. It's a for life fragrance. It's a holy grail fragrance. It's it's the fragrance. Now, this smells similar to Baccarat Rouge by 40, the extrait, but it's so great. It's like Baccarat Rouge by 40 extrait on steroids. That's the only way I can describe this fragrance. It is very similar to Baccarat Rouge by 40, but guys, it's also different because Baccarat Rouge by 40 is smooth, and it's softer, the extra version. It's smooth, it's soft, it wears closer to the skin. Beautiful scent, I have it, I love it. But this has leather and smokiness. So imagine Baccarat Rouge by 40 extra with fire and leather and smokiness. It's so 
amazing. Guys, this is a beast beast. This is more than a beast. This is a beast beast. This is super long lasting. This is super compliment getting, super sexy. An alpha female will crush this. Wear this with a suit? What? What? Kill them. This is so beautiful. God, let me tell you the notes. I'm all like discombobulated because I love this fragrance. So it opens up with orange. There's saffron. There's ylang ylang. There's magnolia, lily of the valley. There's amber. There's sandalwood. There's birch. There's musk and Tuscan this leather. This is a leather bomb. And I typically don't like fragrances with leather. There's a few memo fragrances that I've smelled with the note of leather. There's a couple that I'm interested in, but most of them, I was just like, I can't do the leather. I smelled African leather and almost passed out. The leather in this fragrance, guys, it's like a smooth, butter soft lambskin leather. Like if you guys wear leather jackets, you know there's different leathers to leather jackets. All leather jackets aren't created equal. Like you gotta spend top dollar for that soft, butter soft kind of like lamb that baby lamb like she just came out type of lamb that type of leather guys that's what this leather smells like it's like a smooth baby soft leather it's a hint of smokiness in the background but then you have that scent of baccarat rouge by 40 x straight in the forefront everything guys not for everybody not a safe flying by um get samples get your nose on it it's a different type of scent Definitely for that alpha female. You can order it from soavantgarde.com. Actually, so many other fragrances today, other than um, the Killian and the House of Siage, all the fragrances, oh, and the Lancome. The majority of the fragrances on this list today, you can order from soavantgarde.com and save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20. Guys, order samples. You can definitely order samples from soavantgarde.com if you don't wanna blind buy. And I don't suggest blind buying. If you got it like that, and if you just want to jump out the window and blind buy or you just trust me like that, then I mean, by all means, girl, please go ahead. <laughs> but if not, I'm suggesting you get samples. But definitely an alpha female fragrance, Spirito Fiorentino by Tiziana Terenzi. All right, guys, so leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your fragrances that you wear when you're feeling like that alpha woman, empowered, strong, leader, confident, all of the things. Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.